what we're going to be doing today is reflowing the GPU. So what we've got here is a DV6000, very similar to the DV9000s or the other DV series. This laptop is severely damaged caused by overheating. As you can see there is no power. In severe cases these laptops don't even turn on, but in most cases the screen is just distorted or pixelated. These are easily fixed and should only cost you a couple of dollars and a couple of hours of your time. At worst case scenario you just need to replace the motherboard and if you continue watching you'll see how to replace it. Once I've finished showing you how to reflow the GPU of this motherboard and repairing it, I will show you how to improve the cooling of the GPU by using copper shims and thermal paste. By using a high percentage of copper shim you will improve the thermal conductivity of the GPU to the cooling system. If you want to use high density polysynthetic silver thermal compound, it's going to set you a few more dollars than the normal thermal paste that you buy on eBay for a dollar. This silver thermal compound is made out of 99.9% pure silver and works slightly better, but I'm using the dollar stuff. So most people blame the DV series to have issues with their cooling where in fact most people put these on their lap or on their beds or on pillows blocking the airway in the top right hand corner that you see. You can also improve the airflow by having a cooling pad. To remove all the screws I'm using an electric screwdriver to save time. But putting in the screws it is important to use just a normal fillet screwdriver. You need to remove all the visible screws that you can see. This is the wireless Wi-Fi or ABG card for the DV6000. This is a two wide card, but you might find that you might have a three wide card. It's fine, just remove the wires and replace them back in the same order. In the DV9000 series, you have to remove the two screws. These two screws hold in the casing to the other side of the laptop. Push out the clips with a small screwdriver to remove the ribbon. Some ribbons don't need clips to hold them in, so just pull the ribbon out.
you need to pry this piece off. It needs a little bit of force and you might think you might crack the plastic, but it's okay. The last piece in the top right hand corner has a screw holding it down, so make sure you remove the screw. Most people don't know that they come with a media remote inserted in the side of these laptops. In the DV9000 laptops I found that they've got an extra board here. You remove the one screw and slide it out of place. There is two power clips behind the board that you have to remove. We are now removing the cooling system. Just inspecting all the boards, making sure that they're not bubbled up. Because if they are, the board is most likely throwable. And you'll need to replace with a new motherboard. In one case, I had a bubbled GPU and was still able to reflow it and it worked fine. This is the RAM. You can also choose to upgrade your RAM. Removing the CPU by just putting a flathead screwdriver in and twisting. I'm disassembling the cooling system. Over a long period of time these gather up a lot of dust and you have to remove all the screws. Including under the plastic. Just inspecting it now, it seems to be all clean. Usually they've got a lot of gunk in it. Click on the video link to see part 2 or how to reflow your GPU chip back to your motherboard.